It's another opportunity to learn from one of our incredible speakers at the upcoming Get Good at Business Summit. If you are a business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, or even have a small team, but you have thought to yourself, man, I just want to get good at business. So I get back into the heart of why I got into business in the first place. This is the summit you want to attend. It's 100% virtual, a summit for entrepreneurs, March 15th and 16th. And we have over 20 speakers dedicated to helping you get good at business. And I am joined today by one of those incredible speakers, Beth Ann McMerritt. She is a holistic financial mentor, international speaker, author, intuitive energy healer, and trusted accountant. As the founder and CEO of Divine Money Mastery Inc. and Accounting Sense Inc., Beth Ann utilizes over 24 years of business management, accounting, and finance experience to teach you how to master your finances, increase your income, and break through your money mindset barriers. Beth Ann is the author of Divine Money Goddess Oracle Cards, which empowers you to enlighten, strengthen, and heal mind, body, soul, and wallet. So important. Uh, channeled with the Divine Mother, these goddess cards introduce the new money paradigm, one that serves ourselves, our families, and our communities. The divine you is eager to serve. Money wants to support you in your divine mission, experience a new way of connecting with your money, and learn new tools and techniques to attract more of it into your life with grace and ease. Money is the next level of spiritual growth. And Beth Ann is the expert at that next level of spiritual growth, especially with finances. And she's going to be speaking at the Get Good at Business Summit all about the secret to success, harnessing the power of your intuition. So Beth Ann, Amazing bio. So excited you're here. So delighted and beyond honored that you are going to be speaking at the summit, helping business owners all over the world get good at business. Thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you. And thank you for the opportunity. And I'm I'm really honored actually to be here to support all the entrepreneurs and and yeah. So thank you. So good. <laughs> So obviously in your bio, we dove in a little bit, but share with us, like what makes you the person, the expert to really share? What's your journey to be able to share harnessing the power of intuition as the secret of success? Well, uh, so I'm a forensic accountant. So that means my specialty is cleaning up and putting together the financial systems and businesses and putting them back together again. And when I started my business in 2015, my goal was to go out and help and support all these small businesses and entrepreneurs with putting together their finances. And what I ended up seeing, because I've gotten to see so many financials and um, expenses that these different businesses had used, what I realized is that not only was there an emotional component to the money part of their business, but also the money decision-making was um uh, problematic in the sense where I would see that they had invested and invested and invested in program after program after program, high level programs even and low level programs and um, and then actually never actually created the achievement and the goals that they wanted to create in their business. And um, because I saw the disparity in how much they were investing in all these other programs and coaches and um, even just the decisions that they made and who they hired for employees or vendors or subcontractors and whatnot, I knew that because of all this fear and emotion that they had around money, that there was a piece that was missing within them and them trusting themselves and trusting their own decisions. This is one of the reasons why I wrote the Divine Money Goddess Oracle Cards, which is to assist the individual in really reconnecting with themselves and knowing getting clear and confident with themselves so that when they're making these decisions, these, you know, very important because every penny counts, right? When you're in the startup, when you're starting your business or any part in your business, um, once the person, it, when the person is really clear and connected and confident with themselves and understand how to connect with their intuition in a way that supports them and then is in alignment with what they're um, creating in their business, their goals for their business, then they can create the growth and the profit and the expansion that they really want in their business. So that's ultimately my business 15 years now. And that's uh, that's why intuition, your higher self, your higher connection is your higher conscious connection 
is going to give you the best um, guidance in order to build your business and to make those very essential, important money decisions. I love that in so many ways. I think the first thing that you had said about like being a forensic accountant and really like coming in, seeing how things are, really looking at them and how they need to be and really setting them back up for success. And I think that that's, it sounds like that's really converted over to working with these clients because it's like, here's where their life is at. Let's actually open it up, take a look and then take aligned and congruent action via intuition to really set up that success piece. Oh, definitely. In fact, that's one of the big things that's, that happened before I started. So I have the two, Accounting Sense is what the first company and then Divine Money Mastery. But that's where I really saw through all my forensic work was that the persons, the owners, even if they weren't doing the accounting, but the persons, the owner of the business, their vibration correlated with their cash flow. And it, it was just an amazing like awareness and light bulb, you know, shooting off when I realized that this correlation was there. And so I knew that if I could support my clients in raising their financial vibration and really, really connecting with their own internal dialogue, their own intuition, their own knowing that that cash flow is going to work more in their favor than against them. Yes. And I think the other thing that's so important to like pull out here is all of the speakers at the Get Good at Business Summit fall within one of our five categories. And the very first category within the I Move method is intuition. And it's first for a reason. Like you, you pointed out too, right? It's the secret of success because if it's not congruent, if it's misaligned, if you're taking actions out of the wrong space, right? It's not, not guided by that higher self, that conscious creation, that intuition, it can lead to like you falling on your face. And as business owners, we've all done that. We've all done the, I should do this, this way. And the truth is it's not aligned for you. But when you start to follow your intuition, things just start to fall into place. Most definitely they fall into place because, you know, your higher self, your intuition knows the big picture where our brain and our beliefs and our fears and all those kinds of things get in the way of uh, us confidently making business decisions. But when you know how to align with your intuition and really know how to get your yes and your no, um, as far as what's in the best good, what's in the highest good for your um, business and for your particular situation, um, once you have that dialed in, you can make, you can be confident in the decisions that you're making, you know, and, and being and feel confident in listening to yourself. And that's what I'm going to share some on how to actually confidently connect with your higher conscious uh, consciousness <laughs> yeah so yeah now that's gonna be so good and I think that's the important part of this too is everything every one of our speakers and Beth Ann is not the exception right every single one of our speakers are going to teach you how with actionable tangible practical tips or techniques or exercises to help you get good at business but now, yeah. Beth Ann, intuition is always a little bit of a sticky subject for some entrepreneurs. And it's kind of like, yeah, sure, we can talk the talk, but what about walking the walk? So I know that you've worked with several clients and even seen success in this in your own way. Why don't you share with us a, su a success story about you or one of your clients really harnessing the power of their intuition? Well, I, I have so many. Um, I have so many, but I, I would say just even more recently, like, so just recently, I mean, I use it all the time specifically for myself as far as, especially in, should I invest in certain programs or not? Like I was saying before, um, cause there's always so many great opportunities out there. And the, the thing about all of these opportunities is that there's also an emotional manipulative type, um, element to them because of course they want to sell you, but, but, but if it's not really in your best interest to do it you know, it, it could go completely wrong. But I I had a client, a longtime client that I worked with for quite a while. And unfortunately, her business went down and she wasn't able to keep it up. It was in the real estate industry. And so when things started getting rocky with the real estate, um, she wasn't able to continue with my service anymore, my accounting service anymore. And at the time, I was like, I don't know what to do. And 
I've been kept getting this um, nudge and this whisper to tell me that I really needed to get into um, really into my speaking career and really getting into that part of my my business. And um, along came this opportunity to take on this training. And I was like, should I do the training? Should I not do the the training? Because it was, I, I really felt like, you know, this guy was really heart centered and I really appreciated what he had said about how he was going to teach. And I loved all the information and all the online courses. I'm sure this sounds familiar, but all of these online courses, but I was like, but you know, my, this client now, so what about the money? Is it going to show up? What am I going to do? And I kept, I, I wrestled with it for a couple of good days into whether or not I should, you know, say yes to this opportunity. And I kept getting the yes, 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 do it, do it, do it. But I was like, but the money, but is it going to show up? Is that going to happen? And it, lo and behold, it did. I did. I said, yes, I did it. I was so relieved. Um, because I would have been, I know I would have been even more upset if I didn't, I knew I would just like regret not doing it because I wasn't listening to my intuition. So I did it and the money showed up. That's the miracle. The beautiful part about it is that the money showed up. Like, of course, other opportunities, work opportunities and money making opportunities came along and I was able to pay the, you know, the tuition to, to continue in the course. And it's been one of the best trainings that I've been through as far as training for speakers and writers and um, workshop uh, leaders. So it was just a great relief to do that. So I I have experienced it several, several times in my intuition. And over time, just knowing I can trust my intuition so much more because I have my yes or I have my no, and I, I just follow it no matter what. Now, which is so good because your presentation is all about harnessing the power of intuition, understanding the how to get your yes, to get your no. So if you're an entrepreneur who's been like, yeah, it just seems like everything's falling in place for other people. And they're just like, yeah, I just, I just followed my intuition. And you're like, how, how do you just follow your intuition? Beth Ann has got your back. She's going to be talking about how to tap into that and take advantage of the life-changing opportunity to harness the power of your intuition. So this is going to be incredible. Again, it's the virtual summit. So you can join from the comfort of your own home, March 15th and 16th. And if you attend live, Beth Ann also has something she's giving away to one very special attendee towards the end of her presentation. So Beth Ann, what is it you'll be giving away to one of our live attendees at the event? Uh, if you, uh, you're going to get a set of my Oracle cards, you're going to get a set of the Divine Money Goddess Oracle cards that I'm going to send to you. And uh, you're going to love them. They're they're just a set of 44. They're beautiful. Um, and, and you know, I connected with my heart and my intuition with all of it and creating them. And they've just been, they've been around the world. So that's who's, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get a set of the cards. So beautiful, beautiful. And if you love the idea of learning from Beth Ann and learning how to harness the secret to success, which secret is, it's your intuition, right? And you want to learn from our other 20 expert speakers all across the iMove method. And the iMove method stands for intuition, marketing, operations, strategic velocity, and execution, right? You do not want to miss this event. We are making good on the namesake and here to help you get good at business. Now, here's the real kicker, right? If you sign up at summit.getgoodatbusiness.com, and you watch this video and you're like, oh, Beth Ann is speaking my language. If you put Beth Ann's name, when you register and you say, who referred you? You put Beth Ann, you get your tickets for free. So we want to make sure that getting good at business is accessible. And we want that whatever person that whatever speaker that you resonated with, and in this case, it's Beth Ann, right? You're going to put her name as the person who referred you so that you can get those tickets for free. So make sure that you, again, go to summit.getgoodatbusiness.com and attend and join us at the Get Good at Business event. Beth Ann, I'm so excited for your presentation. So excited to have you there and to learn from you and our other expert speakers. Thanks for joining me today. And for those watching, don't forget, March 15th, March 16th, come uh -huh. join us and get good at business. Thank you. See you there.